Ergonomics is a word that means adapting an environment to the limits of the human body. It is not just about comfort, but design and function with the human body in mind. This program was designed to cover some of the different issues surrounding ergonomics as it applies to the Video Display Terminal, or VDT. Like any tool or workstation, if you do not use the computer correctly, you can cause damage to your body, including eye strain, carpal tunnel syndrome, and stiff neck and back. Video display terminals or computer screens are not the problem. Humans are the problem. The human body is a finite thing that cannot go on indefinitely like a machine. When we think about ergonomics and how to prevent injuries, we have to think about adapting the existing hardware to fit human needs and not vice versa. The first step is to inspect the work area. Can you make a few simple adjustments to the equipment so that it suits your needs? Perhaps the person who used the station before you was a different height. If you detect some hazards that cannot be fixed through a simple adjustment of the existing equipment, inform management. Both of you can determine possible solutions to the hazards. Your workstation should be set up to minimize glare or visual discomfort. Some of the steps that you can take to reduce glare is to make an adjustment in the lighting in your area, using a dimmer switch or using task lighting. If the glare is coming from a window, use blinds or curtains. Another solution is to tilt or move the video display terminal to a different height. Be sure that the screen is at a right angle to a window. This will minimize the glare. Most computer monitors are designed so that you can raise or lower the brightness and contrast on the screen. This can also help minimize glare. There are also hardware solutions, like an anti-glare screen, which are placed in front of the monitor. Keep in mind that the screen should be clean and free of perceptible flicker. If after a few adjustments your video display terminal still shows signs of flickering, notify management. It could be a hardware issue. Use a new or replacement monitor at the workstation. You need to be able to have a variety of seating positions. If you sit in a straight back chair, you'll notice yourself fidgeting after a while. This is because the body cannot sit or stay in one position for long. Even a comfortable position can become uncomfortable after a long period of time. Your seat should have a backrest and permit variation in seating. The height of the seat should allow you to place the soles of your feet flat on the ground or flat on a footrest. The backrest should provide support for the lower back and be at least 12 inches wide. The backrest should be able to tilt as well. If the backrest does not provide adequate support, use a lumbar support cushion. If the seat has armrests, they should allow you to relax your shoulders and keep your arms close to your body. The armrest should be at least as wide as the operator's hips and not prevent the operator from having easy access to the keyboard. The seat pan should not push against the back of your leg behind the knee. The angle of the seat pan should also allow you to keep your thighs parallel to the floor and the lower leg perpendicular to the floor. The best seating is one that is adjustable in every way, height of chair, angle of seat pan, and height of armrests. The topmost line of the video display terminal should be slightly below eye level, with the operator in an upright position. If you are wearing bifocals or trifocals, you should not have to tilt your head in any way to see the monitor clearly. The operator should be able to type at the keyboard in a comfortable position, keeping his torso in an upright position. Leaning over time can put a strain on the back. The keyboard should also be at elbow level, so that the wrists, forearms, and hands are in a straight line with the floor. The keyboard should be angled so that the wrist and hands can work in a natural, relaxed, or neutral position. The work surface should be high enough so that you can move your legs and knees freely underneath it. The work surface should be large enough to hold all of the input equipment, such as the keyboard, mouse, or trackball, as well as task materials. 
Input devices should be in front of the operator and not in any awkward locations. They should be within easy reach of the operator. An ideal desk or table will have an adjustable level or a by level so that the keyboard can vary in height. As a computer operator, you should take frequent short breaks from keystroking at regular intervals throughout your workday. This is when you can perform other duties and give your hands a break. Even a 30 second break can be helpful. You should routinely change body positions while working at the VDT. You should also routinely do stretching and movement exercises as well as provide your eyes with mini rest breaks. You should work regular hours without a lot of overtime. If you have to push yourself due to unreasonable work demands, this is a recipe for burnout, stress, and ergonomic injury. There are many accessories that can help make your workstation more ergonomically safe and productive. Document holders should be made available if you are typing from a lot of documents. These holders should be positioned at the same height and distance as the computer screen. Wrist rests assist the operator in maintaining a straight, neutral position of the wrist and hands while keystroking, and are usually padded and free of sharp edges. It should be the same height as the keyboard without any gaps in distance. Foot rest should be used in case the operator's feet do not reach the floor. The entire sole of the foot should rest on the foot rest. If you answer the phone a lot as part of your job duties, request telephone headsets. This will eliminate the improper use of shoulder and head to hold up the phone and will allow you the flexibility of using the phone and computer at the same time. When it comes to ergonomics, it is better to be penny wise than pound foolish. Many VDT workstation injuries are hard to cure and expensive to treat. It is better to apply ergonomic solutions to the workplace rather than suffer from injuries like carpal tunnel syndrome. You should talk to your employer and see if you can both arrive at feasible solutions. Evaluate which workstation should receive priority and which employees spend most of their time keystroking. The health problems that VDT operators have typically consist of a series of tiny injuries to nerves, muscles, tendons, ligaments, or joints, which add up over months or even over the years. These are so-called cumulative trauma disorders. If not addressed when symptoms first appear, these ergonomic injuries can cause permanent disability. An ergonomic workstation is a long-term investment with a positive long-term payoff. Because of adjustability, more than one person can use the station. An ergonomic workstation can save money, time, and wear and tear on the body. Thank you.